Hi, this is Belinda and welcome to Renovate, the show where we help needy families renew, rebuild and revitalize their homes. Life didn't start out easy for 11-year-old Ayman. When Ayman was six months old, the doctor diagnosed him behind the retina, the eyes of the retina had been blind off. Of course, sad, la. sad and worried because of his future. La. And it is even harder for him and his family when the flat they live in is literally falling apart. Yeah, this the is... handle is broken. Yeah. Oh my... Oh! Yeah. Oh, oh. You mean the door yeah, yeah. is no longer working? Yes. Cannot lock at all? Cannot. The family of 11 are crammed into a house that is covered in mould and is flooding. At first, it's, it happens at the toilet, one pipe, and then after one pipe, another pipe. Then after a while, the sink. Would have to pay for the plumber to come to, you know, stop all the leakage because, you know, this cannot go on. Yep. Our Renovate volunteers have stepped in to help clear the flat. This is like decades of dust bunny. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. I don't dare to see. But now, it is up to our interior designer to make some drastic changes. Everything has to be changed from the electrical wiring to the door fixtures to the windows. Ayman and his family live in a very rundown three-room flat that does not have enough room to fit everybody. With a total of 11 people living together, can Renovate come up with practical solutions to improve their living conditions? Hi. Ayman and his family are staying with relatives for the next three weeks. We've got their belongings sent to storage, so now the flat is ready for renovation. But life goes on as normal for Ayman. He's got an appointment at school with a speech therapist. So I decide to keep him company. Okay, so we we'll SH, right? So, this is how we make the SH sound in our mouths. Let's take a look, shall we? Annie is a speech and language therapist with AWA. They have been working closely with Ayman for four years to train both his vision and speech. So what type of activities do you, do you carry out mm. during a speech therapy session? We work on the articulation exercises, finding the right placement of his oral muscles. In that case, it would be the tongue and the lips to make the sound that we're looking for. Shh. Oh, you need to move your... <laughs> that one, I mean... That's right. So what are you doing? You're making a little... Oh. oh. Try again. And how, how was Ayman like when you first met him? <laughs> well, when I first met him, Ayman was very, very shy. Mm. But I think since then, he has opened up a lot. His teachers have said that he raises his hand to answer questions in class. Can I ask you a question? What is your dream? I said I want to become like a YouTuber. Oh, what kind of YouTuber? Like mostly talk about something. Talk about something? Like, like topic. Wow, from being an extremely introverted boy four years ago to wanting to becoming a YouTuber four years later is such a big, big progress. Have we done something like that in our class before? Where we made the videos of the little cartoon people? Oh yeah. We have, right? Okay, we can do more of that. <laughs> Mark and I need to make some purchases while renovation is underway. Ayman's family have been sleeping on floors, so we think that everyone deserves their own mattress. This one looks nice. Yeah. Come. Well, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm here to help you with anything you may need today. Oh, thank you so much. We're looking for single beds, about yes. eight, eight single yes, mattresses, correct. though. Okay. Uh, especially for children. So right. we're wondering if this mattress would be suitable. Yeah, so this one actually has a pocketed spring, and it also has 
Coolmax, which is a cooling technology, which is really good for Singapore's humid weather. Right. And it also has um, this anti dust mite technology. Quite comfortable. Can I can I take a nap? Feel free to. <laughs> Do you need a blanket as well? <laughs> We still need another queen mattress for Ayman's parents and also maybe a special one for his grandmother. That's a lot of bit. <laughs> this one? Yes, this one. Ah, this is the one, huh? Yeah, so this is the one. Oh! Perfume. Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, what's so special about this mattress? So this one has more comfort, it has more pain relief. So when you sleep at night, it actually cradles your body with the pocketed springs as well. When sure. people sleep, right, yeah, usually when you wake up with pains and aches yeah. because there's certain pressure yeah. on the shoulder, soreness. Yeah. So this one has got that yeah. function. Wow, fantastic! Yeah, I do yeah. see when you bounce, yeah. the bit is not moving much. Oh, come, come. Okay, yeah, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. All right, okay, then. And I'll just... Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, actually, I don't feel much movement. Just tiny bit. I, I would say it's minimal. minimal. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all the mattresses sorted out for this family. Oh, such a relief, huh? Thank you so much, Laura, for everything. Thank you for the wonderful recommendation. Another problem? What problem? There's some leaking over from this part here, some water seepage, and over right at the bottom corner. You need to rectify this problem. Ayman's family did not have any functioning bathrooms, so Mark and I definitely have to buy all sorts of new toilet fixtures. So, we're gonna get sinks. I think sinks. this sink looks good. Oh. It's wide enough and it's not protruding too much out. I, I think the, the size is actually very, very good though. Yes. I mean, I can imagine like washing my face like this, it's, it doesn't splash all over. Yes, and the correct. design is clever because it, it, it kind of caves, caves in. in. Yes, correct. Fantastic. Yeah. Next, we need new toilet bowls. Right, maybe we look at some uh, rimless toilet bowl. Sure. Rimless. Which one is rimless? Yeah, this one here. Okay. Yeah, Alrighty. So Why do you want to get a rimless one for them? Yeah, it will be uh, more hygiene and oh. also it will be e easier for them to wash. Most importantly is yeah. that it's easy to clean. Yes, easy right? to clean and also got this soft closing. Oh, oh soft closing like how? Yeah, yeah. you just close and just oh, let it and be. Oh, and it will close on its own. Yep. Lastly, I suggest that we elder-proof the bathroom for Ayman's grandmother with new grab bars. They got roof, mm -hmm. both on top and at the bottom. Yes. Yeah, so you can have a proper grip. Exactly, yes, exactly. Correct. So this is good because you can actually lift it up when you don't use it. Yes. And you can put it down if you need support to come up like this. Yes. With a few smaller fixtures now placed on our order list, we can head back to the flat to see how far along the renovation is. Alright, welcome to my house. You, your house. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Before it's done, it's your yes. house. Correct. Right. You see, we have built out this partition. Yes, a new room for them. Yes, yes. I see it and it's very spacious. Yeah, this room is for Bob, June and the little kid. Mark's vision is falling into place. All 11 family members will finally have a space of their own and also a place together. Okay. This is where the TV is going to be at. Yes, yes, right. yes. yes. This is where the L-shaped dining table yes, is going to be. But the renovation works have not been easy. Mark has been encountering problem after problem. This house, in fact, has got several issues. One of the major issues is that they have got a choke water pipe that accumulates to about 40 years of oil and debris inside. Yes, we have already cleared the choke. Is that the reason why they had this leakage problem? Yes, exactly. And the problems don't end in the kitchen. So we will move, move, on, move on to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's where the next problem you are going to face. <laughs> yes. Another problem? What yes. problem? Right now, the bathroom is halfway done. Yeah. Because we found out during uh, the tiling work and uh, with the rainy season, there's some leaking over from this part here, some water seepage, and over right at the bottom corner. Mark's renovation has come to a standstill. 
He has to wait for inspections from the housing board and town council to investigate the source of the leaks. So, is it possible that you will not be able to renovate, complete this renovation on time? Only for the bathroom. For this bathroom. I see. Because you need to rectify this problem. Yes. Just the possibility that renovations will not be completed worries me. But I have faith that Mark will do the best that he can to give Ayman and his family the home they deserve. Today, I'm meeting Ayman's family to bring them for a special outing. Hi, everybody! And it is also my first time meeting Ayman's uncle. Oh, this must be your brother. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. So the whole family, all ready to go for your photo shoot right now? Okay, let's hop onto the van. Let's go. I'm accompanying all 11 family members to participate in this season's largest photo shoot. They have never taken a proper photo together as a family, so I feel that this will be a lovely gift for them. Evan, can you help me to knock on the door? Hello, Hello welcome! Hello. I brought the whole kampong here! <laughs> welcome, welcome! Let's come! Come everybody! Is there anything you want to brief the family before we go in for the photo shoot? Not really. Uh, I guess uh, just have fun, uh, stay as a family together, mm. and then enjoy each other's company. Oh, that's all? Yeah, that's all. Wow, so and easy. then the rest, I'll just manage it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you. Sure. Come in. Nene can sit in the middle, please. A lot more coordination is required by our photographer to photograph 11 people across three generations. And he also needs a lot of charm. Tiku, 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 tiku. <laughs> Let's take your hands up. Oh. <laughs> Nene, this side, yeah. Very this good. Smart. One, two. <laughs> Very nice. Nene, how are you feeling today? I'm uh, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy your photo shoot. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome home. Uh, I cannot wait. Cannot I cannot wait. wait to see the house. You cannot wait to see the yeah. house, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, I can't wait to show you the house as yeah. well. So if you guys are ready, <laughs> yes. show me. Yes. yes. Come on, you go first. Slowly, slowly, slowly. slowly, slowly. So, is it possible that you will not be able to complete this renovation on time? Yes, correct. Today, we're handing over a newly renovated flat to Ayman and his family. And of course, I can't do this without my volunteers. Electrolux, thank you so much for volunteering your time. And of course, Team Renovate! Today is the last house to clean already. So, you guys ready to work? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give our best, shall we? Let's go! Before we can begin the clean-up, some new appliances need to be brought into the house. It's a tight squeeze, but eventually, everything makes it into place perfectly. Now, time to get the house dressed and ready for the big reveal. There will be no dust bunnies when Ayman's family comes back today. Every surface in and out of the flat is wiped down carefully by my volunteers. The transformation of this house is uh, very impressive. Everything was uh, well, well designed and uh, well made. Everybody have their own own bunk bed and dining tables. All these very impressive. Hope they can uh, actually uh, maintain well for the rest of the years uh, going by uh, as the children grow up. After the finishing touches, I'm ready to present the home to Ayman's family. I cannot wait. Cannot I cannot wait. wait to see the house. You cannot wait to see the yeah. house, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, I can't wait to show you the house as yeah. well. So if you guys are ready, <laughs> yes. show me. Yes. 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 Oh, I go first. Okay. Home sweet home. Home sweet wow. home. Okay. You can knock now. One, two, three. Come, come, come. Okay. What's Hello.
the flat has gone through a complete 180 degree change. Suddenly it become bigger. Yeah. Okay, slowly, slowly. What used to be a dimly lit home is now a bright and airy sanctuary. Everybody very shocked. Yeah. Everybody looks okay. How are you? Yeah. So big, ah! Sorry, so big. Suddenly yeah. feels so big. Yeah. First, I created this dining area, definitely for the whole family to sit down. <laughs> yeah, have a meal together. That's where the, all the family bonding is. The space doubles up as a living area with a wall-mounted TV on the opposite side. It is also cleverly designed with a built-in settee that comes with a storage solution. And the children just love it. Does it feel like wow, all your friends gather together at a cafe? Like a dinner restaurant or dinner? Yeah! Now moving on to the kitchen! Mark has designed a new kitchen for the family. The counters are laid out in an L shape to maximize counter space. After you do your preparation, then you can do your washing. And you don't have to put your plates on the table to let it dry. We've got this place for you. So you put your plates in. <laughs> Equipped with a lot more storage, it also has a soft closing mechanism which is child friendly. So what other changes did you make to this um, entire kitchen? We also have uh, installed this uh, automated uh, hanger. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is press the button, it will come down. Well, you can actually turn on the heater so that the heat will be evenly distributed among your clothes to help you dry your clothes faster. Okay, over here, your new bathroom. Mark managed to complete the renovation of this bathroom and it's looking beautiful. No more leaky pipes here. All fixtures are brand new and the family finally has a water heater. This part, wow. I can save my <laughs> It's now time for everyone to check out their new bedrooms. The girls will get their own bedroom. And so will the boys. They will finally have their own beds and built-in wardrobes. We still got another room. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mark built a brand new room from scratch for Ayman's parents. And it seems like Bob is speechless. Oh, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> As you can see, this room is an extra room. Surprisingly, he made space. He created space. How did you do it? I don't know, but we've got space. Now that you guys have looked at the house, let's see what Grandma thinks. You think that they were like? Yeah. <laughs> let's go pick her up. Come. Nene, slowly, slowly, okay? Slowly, slowly. Nene, very excited. Okay, Nene, I show you your room, huh? Grandma seems impressed. But what I really want to show her is her new bathroom. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. The master bathroom is now elder-proofed for Grandma. It's fixed with bread bars and a shower chair, something she desperately needed. There's still one final surprise Hello. left for Ayman. Hello, special delivery for Ayman. <laughs> hey, Ayman. Hello. Hey, this is Nanny. Uh, this laptop for you. Thank you. Ayman has been gifted a brand new laptop to support him in his studies. June, you, you've stayed here for many decades, 40 over years. Yes. <laughs> so I think now that this whole flat is newly renovated, it's brand new, we hope that the entire family will be able to take good care of this new, new place. Now, uh, I tell them that we will have a new house. I hope you, all of you, help me to, you know, to tidy up and maintain the cleanliness. 
You know, there is a saying, it takes a whole village to raise a child. I must say, it takes a whole village to renovate a home. This is a very nicely renovated home for Ayman and his family. Before we renovated this home, this family is already very close with one another. And I believe with this newly renovated flat, their relationship is going to grow even closer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for make our home really entire work. I should say 200%. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And Linda, thank you so much for for support your courage to my children, my family, what you have done. So I'm just very grateful that this 40-year-old home is being renewed, rebuilt and revitalized so that this family and their next generation is able to continue to spend quality time in this beautiful, functional home.